Welcome back. Today, I'll teach you how to find out the square roots by prime factorization math. Now, what is prime factorization math? In the smaller classes, we have learned how to take the LSU. And based on that, we find out the number of factors. Based on. Now, to understand, find the square root by prime factorization, one table is going to be always handy for us. And that table will be this particular one. You should remember 1 square is going to be 1, 2 square is going to be 4, Cyrillic, get square 100, 11 square 101, up to 20 square. You can remember 1 to 20 square, believe me, any kind of prime factorization number becomes very simple. Now, what is square root all about? Let's take a simple example. From here, we know 4 square is going to be 16. So let's reverse it. Suppose we get a square root of 16. So square root of 16 will be It will be square root of 4 square. This and this square gets cancelled. The answer is going to be up. Same thing. Suppose if they ask you, what is the square root of 25? Straight away, 5 square. It cancels. Answer is 5. Say 100. What am I going to mean? It's 10 square. It's going to be 10. Directly. So there are certain things within this, if you mentally do it, it becomes very, very simple. But let's take a larger one. Actually, when we do find out the square root by prime factorization method, the bigger ones becomes difficult. So bigger ones, there's another method, there's a long division method, that I'm going to you in the next class. But for time being, you just see, when it comes to bigger numbers also, we can find out by prime factorization, but it does take a little bit longer. Now, let's try to do for a few sums with that. Okay, so first, let's take 1, 5, 2, 1. So find out what is the LCM of 1, 5, 2, 1. Or the factors of 1, 5, 2, 1. Let's try that 3. Let's do it manually, of course. If you can't do it manually, you can divide. 1, 5, 2, 1, divide by 3. 5, 3 is a 15. 2 would be smaller. So 0, so 1 comes down. So 7, 3 is a 21. So you can do it like this. So 5, 0, 7. Yeah, again, divided by 5, he was the 3, 26 is 18, 9 is the 3. 169, refer to this further. 169 is 13 square is 169. So take 30, 30. And what we need? We got it as square root of 151 get rid of 12, 3 square into 13 square. I told you square root, square root cancels, so 3 comes out. This square, square root comes out, 13 comes out. And what's your answer? The answer is 13. So that's a probably a simple one which you have taken. Let's take a little more complicated one. A little more one which has got some different numbers. Let's take 3, 3, 6. It's a little longer. 3, 3, 6. You take 3, 3, 6, 4. But which number will it go? Since 4 is an even number, it will be divided by another even number. Let's take a 2. So 2, 1 is a 2. Then it comes to 13. 6, 2 is a 12. 16. 8, 2 is a 16. 2 is a 2. 8 is a 16. 4, 2 is a 8. 1 is a 2. 2 is a 16. 4, 2 is a 8. How comes 841? 841 cannot be divided by 2. Will it go by 3? 3, 2 is a 6. 8, 3 is a 24. No, it doesn't go by 3. It will be 7. But which number will you be doing? We tried. This comes to 400. It comes with 20 squared. So 841 by which number will you do? And we'll keep going by the statistic. Since last number is length, so let's try with 7. No, let's try with uh, 29. 29 is 20. 1, 8, 9, 2 is 18. 18 plus 8 is how much? 18 plus 8 is 2, 6. 9, 2 is 18. 1, 2 is 4, 5. 1, 4, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah. So 29 into 20. So 841 will not go by any other number, but to go by 29 and 20. So it's a little complicated, you see? You have to remember the balance. 
as much as possible. But of course, when it comes to higher numbers, you can try to put your trial. You can try to do 21, 21 into 21 is 441, 23, 23, 23. The page is not that you can do, especially if it is a number which doesn't have any other common factors. So, 3364 can be written as 2 square. This will be 29 square. As usual, since it's a square, 2 comes out. Yeah, 29 comes out. And what is the answer to it? The answer is 50. Let's try another one, sum, uh, where this is again a little longer one, but again with a prime factorization number. So I sincerely hope that you all will remember this particular thing. This is going to be absolutely necessary when you go for bigger sums like this. So let's me rub it up as there is no space, and then we will try math. Okay, so if you go for this particular one. That is a to a to one double zero. Now there is a catch. The last two number is a double zero. Since there are two zeros, we can divide it directly by ten. So a to a to one zero it comes. Again one ten. A to a to one. Remember, if there are two zeros or even number of zeros, then only can divide it by ten. If there's a single zero, it's going to be difficult. Now comes. 8, 2, 8, 1. Since again, the last number is an even number, by which number will it be divided? That's again going to be a catch. Let's try with 9, just by 8, 2, 8, 1, 1, 9. 9, 9, 8, 2, 1, 18. Will it go? Do you believe it's going to go with 9? I don't think so. It will go by with 9. So when it comes to 8, 2, 8, 1, 0. So what is the next number which will become easier for us? Let's try 3. 3 to the 6. 7 to the 21. 18. 8. It doesn't come with this particular number. So 18, it doesn't count. So we have to go for the next particular number. And that can be 